Okay, wakey wakey everyone. You're listening, you're awake, jolly good. All right, so far we have been looking at population. And population is about what? Anybody? Miss Sotty? People. People, yay, great, okay. Um, can anyone think of a, pro a problem we might have with population? Yes. Overpopulation. Overpopulation. What do you mean by overpopulation? Too many people for one person for one for one region. It might cause a food shortage. Too many people for one region it might cause a food shortage. Absolutely right. Can anybody think of another thing? And I'm. I'll give you an idea. My um, my hair is um very fair, but in years to come it might not be. Come on, you can do this, you can do this. Rob, go. Yeah, aging population. Aging population. What's an aging population? People are getting old. People are getting old. Um, and how is this a problem? How is this a problem? Yes? Um, it's difficult to be as productive when you're older and also maybe even to take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. You're no offense meant to the old people, but you're a pain. You know, yes, we, we love you dearly. And yes, you will have looked after us when we were younger, but you've become a bit of a pain. You become a pain on the welfare system. You become a pain to your family because everyone has to look after you. And, you know, we love you, but sorry. So what we have, we're looking at today is we're looking at is how do we measure population change and try to control it. And in particular, what we're going to do is we're going to look at China. Now, in the syllabus, we have two countries that we look at. We look at China and we look at India, and they are very, very similar. Now, uh, normally I would have this superbly bright picture up on an overhead, but technology today has failed me. So, you can have a look. I shall actually let you have a look at this one. Maybe somebody in the front can hold this one up so everyone can see it. And I shall hold one up over here. Um, what can you see if we look at these two things here? What do, you, what do they look like to you? What do they look like to you? Jennifer. Which one? The one that she's well, well, How about this one? We'll go, let's go for this one. That one, it looks like... more she? younger... Oh, it looks like a Hershey Kiss. A Hershey Kiss? I love that. Oh, God, I love a Hershey Kiss. But, um, no, not this one. Not, not Hershey Kisses today, Rob. Christmas tree. A Christmas tree. Okay, yes, I like that idea too. The damn thing, we're in the, in the season, it's a good idea. Can you think of another shape? Well, I'm going, let's go math. Geometry shapes. A pyramid. A pyramid. Thank you very much. And what's the difference between this? Guess what? This is also considered a pyramid. This is considered a pyramid too. This is a pyramid. This is a pyramid. This is a pyramid. But they look different. Why do they look different? What's the difference between them? Just, just have a quick glance. What's the difference between these pyramids? Yes. The initial one you pointed out is more symmetrical. It looks like a triangle. The yes. Don't look so symmetrical. Okay, so it looks like we have more. Uh, it, it's very equal on both sides, right? I am going to tell you, and normally you would have a sheet in front of you, as I said, and we had, I would have it up on the board, so it would be much easier for me to point out to you. But it's actually divided into two. It's divided into males and females. Well, there you go. It isn't life always divided into males and females. But what you have is it's divided into five-year segments. Now, what can you tell me? Let's have a look at this one here. What can you tell me about the five-year segments? What's happening as it goes up? What's happening to the number of people? Can anybody guess? Can you guess? Can you guess, sweetie? What's happening to the number of people? Um, the older you are, the less there is in that. The older you are, the less there are of you. You're absolutely right. Okay. Um, how about this one? 
Show me this one here. He's just said, the older you are, the less there are of you. What about this one here? Hang on a second. Does that look right to you? Sure. You, I mean a, little bit. a little bit at the top, but if I take the little top bit off... No, it's pretty much... It's pretty much even. So hang on, we've got a problem here. We've got a problem. And um, what this is, these are population pyramids or they're known as age-sex pyramids because of the age and the sex. And um, they are used to measure population and to control population. And what we are going to be going on to have a look at is, first of all, you're going to be reading the population pyramids, and I have a specific worksheet for you to give out so that you can construct your own population pyramid. Then later on, you are going to do your very own population pyramid. And once you have done that, we are actually going to look at China. And we're going to look at China because China decided that it didn't like the way its population was growing. It decided that it was growing too fast. And we will be, once we have finished all this work, next lesson, looking at China's population one child policy and how it affects society.